So how fast do we have to go on the Earth's surface to achieve this V infinity value? Well, we use the conservation of specific energy to calculate the launch speed uh, required to get an excess speed of 2.946 kilometers per second. So what we see here is this is the kinetic energy, one-half V squared. We divided out the mass. That's what we mean by specific. And here is the potential energy. And for a Newtonian gravity field, the potential energy is, includes this minus sign. It's minus mu over r. So you add these two together, you add 1 half v squared plus minus mu over r. And this number must be conserved. So if we look at the other side of the equation, if we let r go to infinity, then whatever the number is upstairs, if it's divided by infinity, this number will be zero. So this is what happens when you reach an infinite distance. And at the time of reaching an infinite distance, of course this is fictitious, these are approximations, um, so we can just say at a very long time, uh, say uh, 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 weeks uh, ha after leaving the vicinity of the Earth, or even just days, you'll have one half V from the Earth to the probe squared. That's our V infinity, one half V infinity squared. So <clears throat> we rearrange this equation to solve for the velocity of the probe with respect to the Earth. So we just uh, <clears throat> put the mu over r on the right side, and that's over here. We multiply by 2 so the 2 shows up and the half goes away. And we take a square, I'm sorry, let me slide this up. Let's do that again. Uh, <clears throat> we want to isolate the velocity EP, so uh, we move the mu over r to the right so it goes over here. We multiply through by 2 to get rid of the half and then we get rid of the half over here as well. Then we take the square root to get rid of the square. So this is the velocity we need at Earth to get the V infinity that we want once we left the vicinity of the planet and are beyond the sphere of influence. So let's put some numbers in this equation again for the uh, mu of the Earth and uh, we're assuming we're leaving the uh, Earth from the surface. So I'm using 6378 kilometers for the surface. And plugging these numbers into our velocity with respect to the Earth at the surface, here's the mu, here's the, the radius to the surface of the Earth, here's the V infinity squared, and we get as our answer 11.56 kilometers per second. This is the speed we need to launch at off the surface. This is a huge number. But it can be done. Now, what are our arrival conditions at Mars? <clears throat> we're traveling from the Earth. Now we're just considering the gravity of the Sun for the moment. And we get out here. We want to know what is the approach speed as seen from Mars. Well, you have the velocity of Mars with respect to the Sun, VSM, and you have the velocity of the probe with respect to the Sun, VSP. And the difference between these two vectors is the velocity with respect to Mars. And so that is basically this difference here. And that gives us V from Mars to the probe or V infinity. Another way to do it is to write V from M to S. That means the Sun with respect to Mars, which seems a little strange. And then the velocity uh, of the probe with respect to the Sun. So we have V from M to S, from S to P is V from M to P. And we can reverse M and S and put a minus sign here. So we have velocity of the probe with respect to the Sun minus the velocity of Mars with respect to the Sun. And that just shows you how this notation works. All you really need to understand here is it's the difference between these two velocities to get the V infinity of approach. <clears throat> that is, in fact, the delta V2 you need in the Hohmann transfer. <clears throat> in order to not crash into Mars, you need to get rid of that delta V2. So let's, uh, let's compute what that delta V2 is using the second uh, burn of the Hohmann transfer, square root of mu over r2 times the quantity 1 minus the square root term. That's our v infinity. 
It's the V infinity of approach at Mars. So plugging in equations 2 through 5, all these numbers into equation 16, here we have, again, this is the mu of the sun, okay, because we're in orbit around the sun right now. That's The calculation ignores right now the gravity of the Earth or Mars. Here's the distance to Mars with respect to the sun in AU, and here's, the dis here's what an AU is. Over here, we have... Uh, ratios in terms of AU, we don't have to convert this to kilometers because we have AUs upstairs and AUs downstairs, so they cancel out to give a non-dimensional number. This value, 24.13 kilometers per second, is the circular speed of Mars about the Sun, multiplied by 0 0.1098, and we get that the V infinity at arrival at Mars is 2.650 kilometers per second. 